Of course, these techniques can be delivered to the body and to the head. The roundhouse kick. Of course, there's Japanese terms and Korean terms for all these techniques too. The reverse punch. One of the most popular points getting techniques in any system. And a very powerful technique indeed. The hook kick. A, a, a much favored technique on the, on the point fighting circuit as it is we see it nowadays. Of course, you'll notice that Sensei was using the sole of his foot. If this particular technique was to be done on the street, he would simply pull the heel back, if Sensei would demonstrate, and the heel would be striking, causing a killing blow rather than just a safety or a touch technique. And we'll go to a jab now. Jabbing with the lead hand, much the same as a boxer would use, but the idea is that it's done in control. Spinning back kick, we get a little bit, a little bit more fancier here. Sensei is using a spinning back kick, once again he's delivering with the heel. And your standard front kick. There are three or four different forms of this kick, but in, the, in, in tournament techniques, remember we're trying to use control. Rules may differ where we go, anywhere we go in, in throughout the United States, throughout Canada. Down here in Cayman, I found the rules were slightly different than where I come from. The development of these spinning techniques takes a long, long time. And the rich hand technique, another very new and popular martial arts technique in this type of fighting. Okay, now we've gone over some of the things that are legal. Let's go over some of the things that are illegal. In extreme situations. For instance, poking to the eyes. Open hand techniques to the eyes. is disallowed. Every woman's favorite technique when you do something they don't like, the knee to the groin. There you go. And a low kick to the groin. See, he's trying, what you, you want to practice that one, I love it. That's it. Kicking to the groin either from the front or as my instructor used to call it back dooring him. <laughs> These particular techniques should be taught to every woman who's concerned about self-defense, elbow techniques. If you ever watch hockey from up north, you know what this is. These particular techniques are about. So. And of course, everybody's favorite panic technique, pulling hair. When you forget where your opponent is going, it's easy to just grab his hair and then you know where he is. You can close your eyes and throw punches at him. Okay, thank you very much.